And it is really silly because when you think about it, well, every fight night, every pay-per-view and all that stuff, I look more forward to, to seeing the women fight. I mean, we've seen the guys fight and we, and we know it, it's so saturated now mm-hmm. that seeing that girl fight is, is what kind of makes the night, especially like keep going back like to Watterson, you know, I know Michelle and, um, and she's an exciter, exciting fighter. Mm-hmm. Um, and you just, the way you, you grounded her and, and just took everything away from her that the guys right now, they're not at that level. I mean, they are, but it's, it's so mainstream that we've seen it so many times. There was a, there was a point there for the, like the last, I don't know, a year where it was more guys were fighting. It seemed like they were fighting not to lose mm-hmm. than they were to, to win the fight. And the women's that's, I think that's what brought the women up major was because you guys do, you guys get out there to fight. Yeah, and there's something about two women getting in the cage and fighting too. That just like really intrigues people. <laughs> but, um, the quality of women in the UFC, I think, uh, I'm speaking now, straw weight, band and weight division is really great. Um, that whole new 145 featherweight division, I think is kind of a joke uh, because there's not enough quality fighters for Cyborg to fight because that's basically just her division, you know. It is. She's going to own it. And uh, the 125 division that's coming in, wasn't really impressed with that season, unfortunately, that just passed. It was a 25-26. But I do think some of the 115 girls and some of the 135 girls have started to go to the 125 division, and those girls are what's going to make that 125 division division as well as other girls that they're bringing in from Invicta and stuff like that. But the girls in the show, I just maybe like three <laughs> of them were really great, like are really good, but the rest, yeah, I don't see them sticking around for so long. I just think there's much kind of a laugh there. in the background. Uh, not a laugh. They're talented, just not enough talented. Like I feel like a lot of the straw weight girls could beat them. Mm-hmm. And, and that's saying a lot because I mean, it's 10 pounds is a lot of weight for especially a female. So do you think that um, they should put, I, we've talked about this before is almost fighting at your natural weight instead of ha- um, having a certain amount that you can only cut. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause in Colorado, they, they put that in place for a small period of time they where you can only cut mm-hmm. what 10, no more than 10 pounds. No more than 10. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and now people are cutting, I mean, sometimes like 15, 20 pounds to, to hit their weight and they're barely alive. Yeah. But I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Do, would you rather it be just natural, um, Wait, like under five, under seven, oh, yeah, like that'd you're doing? Be, that'd be awesome if uh, you could do that. But um, then we'd have to have so many weight classes because then we'd have women into the 60s and 70s, you know, who are fighting at 35 and 45. So there'd need to be a lot more weight classes. And then it would just, it's for women, not necessarily for men, because there's so many of them, but since there's not that many women, the talent level would be so sc- like scarce, scarce, however you say that word. Because <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be like maybe eight divisions instead of four of the mainstream divisions I'm speaking about. And uh, there's just not enough women, I think, for that. Right. Let's say- it would be nice, though, just fight a girl when I go in there. I know she's going to weigh in at, say, 120, and the next day she's going to be like 125, 127, as opposed to weighing in at 120 and being 135. 135 next day, which is a lot, you know, will weigh in 115 the next day, they're 135 or higher than 130. And I'm just like, that's crazy. Like, I don't even weigh more than 125 pounds ever. Yeah. <laughs> so- yeah. And Andrade's got to weigh, she's got to walk around way heavier than, than 150. Yeah. She's mass, dude. She's yeah. got a lot of mass. Yeah. Do you know? what her walking around weight is? I would assume it's probably around 135, 130 to 135. See, that's so just she's crazy. She's short, but she's thick. Yeah. But I know, I know straw weights to walk around close to 140 and get up to 145. Yeah, I know some big straw weights. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Is it something that you would consider doing, uh, it, you know, once you win the strap for the straw weight division, are you, would you consider bumping up? No, definitely not. No. I'll stick at 115. I like, uh, I feel really strong at 115, and uh, I just think I'm too small for 125. Uh, I'd rather be uh, very healthy and strong at my weight than trying to put on some weight to fight a bigger girl than me. Yeah, and you're fast. I mean, yeah, I definitely want to keep my speed up. Mm -hmm. I'm putting more weight on my slow me down. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I I always thought it'd be really cool to have a heavyweight female. Uh, oh, like yeah. uh, well, Gabby, Gabby Garcia. Garcia. Oh, my and, God. And again, for her, there's no way to fight. She's fighting these small little Asian chicks who are way smaller than her. And they're 80 and years they're, old. Yeah, they're old as yeah, shit. Yeah, she was she's like almost 50, that chick. Yeah, yeah poor see, lady. I follow them. <laughs> they, won't, they won't put anybody in there that she can that can actually fight. I don't think Gabby can fight. I mean, it's 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 kind of ridiculous I watching her. But... The, at the higher weight classes, unfortunately, there's not enough women in the sport for it. And then the talent, there's like foreign few between however you say that little comment but gabby's talented most definitely in her you know jujitsu that she's world champion but when it comes to striking it's just like 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's hit or miss with uh, some of the divisions, some of the girls. I don't know. Who's your favorite fighter, male or female? Mm, I like a lot of the karate style fight fighters. So Leo, like, Leo Machida, Anderson Silva. Uh, actually, Steven Thompson, he's awesome too. Um, Darren Cruyff, no longer in the UFC, but he was one of my favorites too. Just the whole sidekick thing. Um, very biased to the karate people. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, Anthony Pettis. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really necessarily go for the people who are just like on top in the limelight right now. I, I, I like what I like. You know, you kind of have an inside scoop on everybody who's coming up, though. I mean, you know yeah. more about. You know, you got to watch. It's your job. Mm-hmm. You have to watch people. There's a lot so. of female fighters that I like. Uh, in my division, the other division, I'm not going to name anybody to make them happy or anything, but I like you girls, <laughs> even though I fight you, some of you, I like you still as fighters. <laughs> How long ago did you move over to this camp? Uh, to these well, I started working with them about a year and a half ago, but, um, I started living here in May. So full time since May, um, they've been in my last three fight camps though. What is it? What is it doing for you? Oh, what it's changed my game. You know, uh, every fight I'm, um, I don't want to say actually improving, but I'm just improving every fight. Got my first finish. My last fight, I really felt like I was going to finish her. It didn't happen. But uh, I just feel like I'm becoming a greater athlete and um, all around mentally and physically. Is that something that you that is on your brain but before you go into a fight now? I mean, because you have gone to decision, what, mm-hmm. almost all of your fights mm-hmm. have gone to decision. Are you looking for that finish? Are you wanting to be a finishing fighter or uh, to get that money or I'd, any of that I'd stuff? Like to be, I'd like to be, but at the end of the day, I, I honestly just want to win. <laughs> but um, I fin- it was nice, you know, doing that. Like, the fight was over, and I was like, damn, that was some easy money. <laughs> 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 I was like, shoot, I feel good. No injuries. Let's do this again. And, like, it's awesome to do that. But it's really hard at this point, the girls and the level of talent that I'm fighting, you know, it, it, if you go in there and knock them out like Rose did, that's something special. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was a crazy fight, though. Yeah. It was. That was Great fun kick. to see. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, that, it. It, it was a puncher's chance on that one. But, I mean... I don't know. It was beautiful. Every and fight. I like I, Rose a lot. I, I don't want to I don't want to take it away from Rose at all. I think she earned that every bit of that. I mean, yeah. that was... Yeah. I mean, mentally alone. Just going in there against her is has got to be tough. Well, I think after you beat uh, Andrade, we got to get you and Rose in here face to face. Oh, that'd be cool. Have you guys ever done with Ro- talked to Rose? I've met her. I I don't know her though. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, we so. train together sometimes. So yeah, we've got a connection through that guy. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> through Juan for the ghost over here. Yeah. <laughs> he might be able How to. How do you guys know Juan? Uh, God, Juan, I've I met through uh, just weightlifting, and and I think I worked with him at uh, at. Villa sport for okay. a little while. We kind of talked about because I was fighting at the time and mm-hmm. he was just getting out of fighting mm-hmm. due to his eye injury. Yeah. And I think he had his eye patch on at the same at that time. So mm-hmm. met him there and then just kind of, you know, there. fight buddies. Yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, we trained, well, we didn't train together. We coached together at altitude. Oh, okay, cool. uh, so we met a long time ago with that. And obviously altitude didn't last very long. So, not not our altitude. The I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that that other jack went over off a plat. Yeah, so that that wasn't too good. But no, he's a good guy. Um, never had any problems with him. He he's just um, the good thing about it, he's just so easy to be around. He he's just really polite, really nice. And I I've never done like one on one training with him, so I don't know if he's like the type that's going to slap you in the face or no, no. you know get you he's moving the type around. That but just, uh... Tells you you're doing too good, like doing good too many times. Sometimes you got to tell them, like, no, I'm not doing. Good. <laughs> like, you I didn't me? rotate my hips yeah. good enough. Come like, on, tell man. Tell me for real. Be for real. But he's definitely a very encouraging, positive coach. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah, your coaching uh, style, I mean, what do you want out of a coach? I mean, what do you look for? Um, I definitely like positive reinforcement. So, I need like the coach to say what I'm doing good first and then give me the criticism. I'm very big on time. Like, I need to know. Um, <clears throat> Uh, when I'm going to train what I'm doing and how many rounds it's going to be and who's going to be with. Like, I'm very <laughs> scheduled. And if I don't, like, it really pisses me off. And then for my fight, I'd need to know, like, the time when I'm fighting halfway, a minute, 30 seconds left. I, it just mentally helps me and lets me gauge uh, how much input and output I can do. So when you're actually fighting, you, you're mentally there with your corner. Oh, you, yeah, You can yeah, hear yeah, everything I, you're saying? I need to. If I don't, I'm in the middle of the break, <clears throat> best believe I'm going to tell them, you guys need to be louder. Oh, okay. Have you always been that technical fighter that you are? Yeah, yeah. I def- always, even in the outside of the ring, I, I need to do, I'm a very big planner. Structure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gotta have it. Are you a little OCD? 
Uh, not OCD in terms of like organization in my house. Definitely not. But in terms <laughs> of like needing to know my training, yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Just. I like to know things. What do you like to do outside of fighting? Uh, a lot What's of your things? thing? Oh my, I don't really have a thing. I try to get a new hobby in my mind, but it didn't happen yet. Really love to do some hip hop classes. So if you guys could hook me up with that, you know, any somebody. J and J, J and J hip hop. I need to learn. I'd, I'd <laughs> there's, love to learn there's a place that. in town. Yeah. yeah. And my son Lucian actually danced there for a little while. I think I he, found he, that one on online or Groupon or something, but I think the one I found only offered like one adult class and it was kind of yeah, all levels. Yeah. Because I know it's more of a kid thing or, you know, a teenage thing. But uh, I'm not all levels. I'm very beginner. So I'm very intimidated <laughs> by that. Get in there with the kids, man. They're, they're, they they have a blast. And they're they're so funny. Even the ones that aren't coordinated and oh. they can't really move that well. I didn't well. know adults can go to kids' classes. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to fit right yeah, in. you're just going to fit right <laughs> in. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until they show me up. Um, but no, I, we... Um, in January, no, not January, one of these months recently, we went like hiking every single weekend and I like that. And I've been telling Rick, I want to get back into that. But it's just really hard to stay uh, like consistent with things, especially when we're fighting now. That was when none of us had a fight. We were just hiking every weekend. That was fun. And just exploring Colorado since I've only gotten here in May. Like I like uh, the beginning of this year, we went to Breckenridge, went to Vail, we went to Dillon. Um, she just bring me all the different places. So been awesome to just to kind of go around. I love Manitou walking down there. I like the incline. Um, do that sometimes. Um, You've been to the hot springs anywhere? Oh, yet? yeah, hot springs. Yes, that's the new thing. Like, I'm from Florida. We, we don't really have hot springs. It's <laughs> hot as hell everywhere. <laughs> the beach is hot. But, uh, yeah, I love the hot springs. Um, Which one did you go to? She brought me to – what's the names of the ones? I don't know. There's, there's Steamboat Springs. I haven't been to Steamboat. I've been to – Mount Princeton. Mount Princeton. I've been to that Best three one. times. Best one. Uh, Steamboat I haven't been to. And I've been to the one actually downtown – um, it's like a spa area downtown sun spa. I think it's called or something. Like I had that. no idea there was a hot springs down there. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's not a hot springs like that. It's just an outdoor hot springs. It has, looks like jacuzzi, but, uh, it's hot springs. I think huh. they have one in Manitou though. And that's the one I think. Okay. Downtown Manitou. It's called sun spa. I think. Or something okay. Like that. I'll have to yeah, check that out. But it's not necessarily like uh, Mount Princeton where you have <coughs> the rocks and stuff like yeah. that. It's like, it looks like a jacuzzi to me, but it's a hot spring. One of my favorite things about Mount, Mount Princeton is that big pool. It, did, was it covered when you went up there or was no, it the uncovered? No, it was there. But the last time we went, actually, um, she brought me before my last fight. We like to go before the fights. And uh, the freaking hot spring wasn't open. Just the pool was open and then like the jacuzzi hot springs ones. But the ones where you're down in the rocks, like walk down, those weren't open. It was too Oh, uh, that's a bummer. I think it was just too icy and stuff like that. Did you get out of the hot? Have you, You've been in there, though. Yeah, 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 no. I, I have, have you ever gotten out of the hot water and gone into the cold? I don't really like to do that, no. <laughs> Check it. Try it once. It's exhilarating. <laughs> I jumped out of the hot water and laid down in the river. Oh, yeah. man. Crazy. <laughs> That's why we got to get you guys hooked up over at Luna. Uh, is that the, the float, the float yeah. swap? I can't believe you've never done it before, though. Yeah, no. Because I'm claustrophobic and I thought you have to, like, close the thing. Even, like, I've done, um, I don't like to tan, like, uh, tanning beds or anything, but I have done the stand-up ones. And I'm, like... Petra, I like when I do the stand up ones, I have to keep opening the door because I feel like it's gonna close and never open again. Wow, have you always been like that? Uh, it started because one day I decided to tell my sister to put me in a suitcase <laughs> and uh, she locked the suit, you know, she zippered the suitcase and literally probably was only in there for 10 seconds. And uh, I it felt out. like a lifetime, yeah. So the other day, you guys said you follow me, I don't know if you saw the post, I was hiding underneath a fish tank, yeah, with the with little the, kid, <laughs> yeah, with our nephew or godson, rather. And we're hiding there, and <laughs> Raquel closed it for us. When soon as she closed it, I, like, started freaking out. I'm like, let me out of this right now. <laughs> it, yeah. it really gets you. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I'm, they're never going to open it again. Like, even if you lock me, probably, in a closet. Do you have nightmares about it? And, not right now, no. Probably when I was younger, maybe. I think there's more underlying <laughs> uh, things going on here. Yeah. I don't know, man. If somebody locked you in a suitcase, you, it might mess you up a little bit. Yeah, but if something happened way before that, too, you know? Yeah. Just the, the shit creeps up on you. You like, need some like EMDR like therapy being. and <laughs> bring it all back. I don't know. I don't want to bring anything back like that. <laughs> Just stay there. So you, you said you like to be organized. You like to have a plan and all uh -huh. that stuff. Where are we at right now? What's your goal? If, if fight are you looking beyond this fight or you're, you're always just focused on this one i'm definitely focused on this one but i'd be lying if i said it's not in the back of my mind like fighting for the title because that's my ultimate dream we're all in the sport to become number one to have that belt but uh jessica is just my focus right now and you know after i go in there beat her then i'll more more than happy to say i want that title shot give me that title shot and i'll be gunning for it can you give us yeah. a prediction 
uh, I'm going to win. <laughs> I am. <laughs>